So to get started, we want to open a new file. I have one already, ready to go. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to import. So I go to File, Import. I'm going to bring in a DWG file that contains the floor plan of the building that we're going to build. Um, there's a bunch of options that you can read through and decide which ones are applicable to your project. The input that I want to just draw your attention to is the modeling units. So you want to make sure that the model units that you select here represent the units that um, the import file uh, uses. So in my case, I know that I built that model using millimeters. So I want to make sure I change meters to millimeters so that it's scaled properly. So I'll hit OK, and it will bring all of the line work into Rhino as lines. Now, it can be a little tricky to work with a floor plan um, in Rhino that isn't locked. So what I actually do is go to the Layers Manager, and I'll select all of the line work that came in. And I know that this is all the line work because the default layers in Rhino will be default, and then you have layers 1 through 5. So I'm going to select all of those, and I'm going to drag and drop them into layer 1. So what this does is it creates a sub hierarchy, and I'll name this, this is all my CAD work. And I can also sort everything here by name. So I will, once I sort it by layer name, I can go ahead and turn off pieces of information that might not be relevant to drawing a model. So I'll just turn all that off. We have some annotations. And then we have some other annotations here. There we go. So we can turn things off. And we might have door annotations as well. Let's see, a door identity. OK. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and lock that layer. So now my CAD work is there. It's just not editable, and I can still snap to it. So. To add a room, you can go to the Pollination tab and select Add Rooms and say Draw a Room to draw from scratch. Or you can go into the command line and type in PO Draw Room and hit Enter. And the minute you do that, it'll give you a couple of options. So you can indicate an elevation starting point and then the height. For now, I'm just going to use an elevation of zero and a height of three meters because I'm working in meters. And in the type, you can choose rectangle or polyline. So I'm going to start with a rectangle because that's the easiest to show. And you have to hit Enter once you select an option. And all you do is trace to the two opposite corners of a room. And in this case, uh, I can see that my CAD geometry is not very well drawn at the corner. There's a Smart Track option in Rhino that you can turn on to snap to a point and then track from there. And if you do it in the opposite, it'll find the intersection point. And there you go, it will create, you can create a room. So that's quick and easy. If you'd like to create an L-shaped room, I'll show you the option for how to do it with a polyline. So I'll just go back and I'll say draw a room and switch it from a rectangle to a polyline and go ahead and Hit Enter to draw it. So I'm going to actually start with the midpoint here. And I want it to intersect there. You can hit Tab to lock the, the direction or keep it in ortho. So I'll hit that. Tab. And I want it to snap to there. And then I'll hit tab again to snap to this corner and snap there. And hit snap again because I want it to snap to that midpoint. And just make sure that it closes all the way. So see, we have a little bit of a gap here. So we want to make sure we close that gap or else it's going to give a, oh, 
there was a tiny edge. So one of the good things about the Rhino plugin that Pollination offers is as you're drawing it from scratch, it's going to tell you when you haven't drawn something pretty accurately, right? So the rectangular, rectangle feature is really easy to use. The polyline feature, while it gives you a greater degree of flexibility, you might find yourself um, hitting some snags. And so let's just go back and try that again. I'm going to go back to draw room. And this time we can, I'm going to hit pause. I'm going to draw it and then come back. So here's my L-shaped building that I created using polyline. Now I want to draw your attention to what was creating that really tiny line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both rooms and turn them off. So I'm just going to hide objects. So if we zoom in really close, you'll see that there's actually a disconnect, right? This window and the wall, there's a little gap that you can see right here. Um, I can just draw a surface over it so you can see it. So this little area was the reason why I had a tiny surface. So when you're using the polyline, right, that little area, when you're using the polyline feature, you just have to be really careful, especially if the CAD file that you're working with might have some little corners and things that are not very well drawn out. So uh, just be mindful of that as you're drawing your geometry.